What's going on, y'all? Today I'm going to break down a workout design specifically to get you more shifty on the court. Okay, I do this with all my college and pro guys, even some high school and middle school guys. It's really focusing on a couple different concepts. Change of pace, change of rhythm, change of depth. Okay, we're gonna start with a legs cross move, and all I'm doing is stepping on every move. So step, step, legs, cross. You notice right now I'm going slow, I'm kinda low. I can stand up, I can get fast, slow again, low, tall. Again, just kinda changing rhythm, changing my pace there. Okay, typically I do all of these reps moving sideline to sideline before I switch starting hands. Okay, I'm just gonna show you everything, just one rep coming down. Okay, so again, that would be right hand start, left hand start. The next movement is gonna be a flinch. So when I go through my legs, I'm not gonna engage or move my feet, I'm gonna fake with my body. You'll notice my shoulder, my inside hand, my back leg kind of triggers. I'm faking that I'm gonna take off. So again, it's legs, shift, cross, legs, little flinch. And all I'm doing is flinching after the ball gets into my left hand. So again, legs, flinch, cross, legs, flinch, cross. Again, changing pace, changing rhythm, changing depth. Let's get to the next one. After we add the flinch with both hands, now we're gonna add a jab. So when you make this leg move, you're gonna step only with the outside foot. That's your ball side foot. Again, it's gonna be legs, step, cross. Legs, step, cross. My back foot stays anchored to the ground when I go into this jab work. Legs, jab, cross, legs, jab, cross. Playing with that rhythm constantly. You'll hear me say it over and over. Rhythm, pace, depth. Now after we add that jab, we're gonna get into the stutter action. So we're like faking a lift and the blow by. Okay, so we're engaging both feet here. So it's legs, one, two, cross. Legs, one, two, legs, one, two. Every single time, I'm engaging back front, inside, outside. One, two, that little sprinter step, faking that I'm taking off. After we get into that little stagger, that little sprinter step, we're gonna get into our drags. So this is all about lateral separation. Really getting outside of my defender's frame. So I'm gonna shift to my left, shift to my right. I like to say, you can go short space, long space, slow space, quick space. Again, just playing with those different movements. Those were all your ball side dominant actions. I like to freestyle that before we separate ball and body. So I might have my steps, my flinches, my jabs, my stutters, my drags. Again, just freestyling all those ball side movements, down and back, alternating hands. Now let's separate ball and body. I like to use a line to really emphasize this movement. First one's gonna be a cross jab. So after I go legs cross, I'm gonna step opposite. Again, ball's going right, body's going left. Separate ball and body. So it's legs, cross jab, legs, cross jab, legs, cross, cross jab. Rhythm, pace, step, constantly changing it all the way down. The last movement before we put everything together is your drift. So we did drags already, but we went with the ball. Now, lateral separation away from the ball. So you're pulling it, pulling it, pulling it. Drifting away every time, opposite of the ball. Okay? Reminder is right hand start, then left hand start. Down and back, down and back, continuous. The last thing we do is freestyle it. So ball side actions, and then separate ball and body. So you might be stepping, flinching, jabbing, stuttering, dragging, cross jab, drift. Mixing in all those different movements, changing pace, changing rhythm, changing depth. Try it out.